What's up y'all, welcome back to another video here. You know what day it is? It's race day. Uh, we are heading down to Jefferson Speedway. We're gonna try and do some autocross here. Uh, we're hoping that the car stays together after our issues at Black Hawk Farms. Got Donnie with us today. So we're hoping, uh, hoping to have some good times. We're also uh, bringing Beans. He's our mascot. So <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll get to see him at the, at the race today as well. But uh, yeah, just loading up here. It's about eh, six o'clock in the morning. Gotta meet Cindy at the gas station. Gonna throw some petrol in the old whip here and start heading south. So we were able to tell that I had ran that. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys. She's packed today. Bargain fair. Donnie's bargain barn. Yeah. <laughs> Just got in uh, into the track here. Donnie's getting the easy up set up. Got to get the car off the trailer. Get uh, get into tech and uh, get things rolling today. Just sitting in line for tech inspection here. Gonna get through this pretty quick. Pretty simple and easy. Come on, I didn't fail tech already. <laughs> Brandon's checking to see if uh, he can wiggle out any change out of there. I mean, this guy's a poor bastard here looking for every dime he can get. I, I, I was really crossing my fingers you had a bum wheel bearing around here. <laughs> this is Beans' first race here and probably close to two or three years, it's been a long time. He used to go with me to the, most of the motorcycle races, but nice little spot on the corner here, just hanging out. I'm gonna probably pull up the Formula One app on my phone and hopefully watch some of the Formula One race here before we get started. Donnie just ran up to the flea market, probably to buy some fleas, who knows. But yeah, pretty nice day, gonna be a hot one. Luckily we got a little bit of shade here with the easy up, but people are just rolling in. Doing the uh, track walk right now. Um, it's pretty similar to the first race of the season here. Um, the only difference so far I've really noticed is the uh, off the start where before you kind of went into a fast uh, slalom through cones. It's kind of more just staggered gates now. So it um, looks like the back straightaway, there's a slalom over there. So it'll be a fast corner into a slalom. So it'll be pretty difficult for front wheel drive setup because you'll still be turning and having to brake hard into it, which is gonna cause the rear end to wanna come around. So hopefully I can get the car straightened out before I, I brake. That way the ass end doesn't totally come around on me, but Keep walking here, check it out, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. Just kind of looking at the, the lines through how they come through here. You come out onto the back straight here. It's a pretty heavy braking zone from here into this. This is actually very tight. So I'll have to be make sure that I don't uh, lock them up and, and blow out too wide. But and then we go out onto the back straight here. And we're going right on the back straight, so we'll be going backwards. Come back around and then come back through the middle and go that way again. So it's kind of like a, basically a figure eight. Go around, come through, go back around here, and then back around. So it should, uh, should be fun. Like I said, pretty similar layout to, uh, to the last one, but different, uh, different obstacles in there. Just uh, hanging out here. About to head up for our first session. Um, the first group is just going up there right now. Cindy's in that group. 
So she'll go out there and try and learn the track. And we got to go up there and work the track here pretty quick. So I'll do that. And uh, then I'll be up. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Thanks dude. Yep. So we just got done with the first run here. Um, Brandon, this is my main competition. You guys know Brandon. B. Randon, however you want to say it. <laughs> um, he uh, he ran a 45 something. I'm not sure if it was a 45.2 or 45.1 or a 45.9. I couldn't quite remember, but I uh, knew that we were going to really have to push in this first first run to uh, be able to, to get his time and went out there, pushed literally balls to the wall the first run out there ran a 44-1. So uh, we're sitting, I believe, first in our class right now. Uh, I think we could maybe get into the 43s, possibly, uh, with a little bit of tire temp. The rear end was pretty skatey out there, um, which is typical of this car. But uh, yeah, just gonna go out there, we're in line again. There's a whole bunch of cars in front of us. Try and push hard and see if we can improve. Really? Got Brandon here going. We're gonna see uh, see what he can do. Hopefully, he doesn't beat my time, but I, I like competition. <laughs> I always like to see people do good. So, Forty-four six. Couldn't quite touch her. Close. Close. D didn't quite get her. we hit a cone and then spun out so no I know a 43 is possible now we just got to not hit anything and not spin out
that was a little little nerve-wracking there uh, we just got done with the third and final run of the morning session managed to put down a 43 7 so still puts me uh, <coughs> in first uh, we got to work another session here yet and then go out for the afternoon session so Brandon still could catch up to me we're so close in times um, yeah just uh, pretty pumped to be putting down some decent times and really starting to get the feel of the car feeling how it works you know where its limits are and and that sort of thing so we're just gonna keep on pushing uh, I mean maybe a 43.5 could possibly be in the books I don't know um, be cool to get a, a top 10 overall for the day too so we'll keep pushing and see where we end up so I must have a uh, I don't know an omen following me for bad gas here but uh, so we have a catch can in the back of the car because I have to keep the tank pretty well full and the vent is vented into a bottle basically well I just checked the bottle it's like orange kool-aid smells like varnish yeah so uh, I'm definitely gonna stop getting gas at the place that I've been getting gas at because it must be junk so yeah I guess I'll be draining the fuel tank again after today ridiculous it's our final afternoon session now so we're gonna get uh, gonna get the helmet on get the gloves on and get up there and throw it on some FTDs fast time of the days oh yeah all right, guys, uh, first run here of the afternoon session. We're going up right now. Let's see what we can do. First run of the afternoon session went good. Um, I could definitely tell the tires were cold compared to the end of the first session, uh, but it still managed to put down the, my fastest time so far. I uh, ran a 43.6, so pretty decent. I think I got a 43.5 in me. There's spots out there that I'm kind of, I don't know, hesitating a little bit or braking a little too early. I think there's spots I could also get on the gas a little bit sooner as well. So I feel like I'm pushing the limits of the car pretty, pretty far uh, with 151 horsepower. You know, you got to keep as much momentum rolling as possible because as soon as you slow down, you pretty much are done. So, but uh, yeah, having fun here. We got two more runs yet. Still sitting in first. Uh, Brandon, I believe, is about, I don't know, half a second behind me yet. So, uh, but yeah, do these two runs and... See what we got. Man, thanks, dude.
Hey guys, so yeah, I ended up uh, <clears throat> not going out for my last session. No need, didn't want to uh, put any more wear and tear on the car. I hit my goal for the day, I ran a 43.5. Um, pushed super hard in that last one, actually got a little squirrely in the chicane and thought for a split second that I might be going towards the wall, but I was, man, it got back on the gas, managed to pull it back out of there. But yeah, had a freaking awesome time today super hot I mean it feels like it's a hundred degrees out but it's not it's probably upper 80s low 90s great turnout here um, didn't see anybody wreck anything which is great uh, it's never good but just want to give a shout out to uh, everybody that watches my videos I, I really appreciate it thank you guys so much um, also like when you guys say hi too, you know say hey I feel like I already know you you know but uh, it's great, uh, great to hear from you guys at the track. You know, tell me you watch the videos. It gives me some motivation to keep going when you know times get tough, and I'm too tired to uh, to edit a video. So thank you guys for watching. I'd like to give a shout out to GMJ Automotive, great shop in Adams, Wisconsin. I'd like to thank Donnie Bull. I mean, he's with me week in and week out, working on the car, helping me in the pits. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Bottom of my heart, man. You my boy. Uh, I'd like to thank my sister, she did the graphics on the car, uh, my fiance Olivia, great job to uh, Cindy today as well, improving, um, just thank you to everybody, appreciate it, keep, uh, keep on watching these videos, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, notifications. Thank you guys, and we will unfortunately not be able to run the uh, Madison uh, event coming up here, uh, had some family issues, stuff like that. Uh, had somebody pass away in, in my family, so I won't be at the mat next Madison race. Um, I'm going to try and make the Jefferson one, uh, but I'm right now shooting for the uh, end of August race at Blackhawk Farm, so I'll for sure be there, and I hope I can see you guys there. So keep, uh, keep classy, y'all, and we'll see you at the next one.